Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're in round two of the water comparison video series again. We have five more bottles of water. These all won round one, now we're in round two. So first up is Clear Valley Purified Drinking Water. This is a Niagara brand of water, and it's a small bottle. Next up is Peru, or Pure AU Water. This is bottled in Bald Eagle Creek, PA. And I think the name is French for pure water, I think. Next up is Serma Natural Spring Water. This is 750 milliliters. This is a very nice glass bottle with a nice metal lid on it. And it says this is a product of Turkey. And I think it's bottled in Florida. I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> it's a product of Turkey. But the water is from Florida. Next up is Le Bleu. This is from IGA the store. This is ultra pure, light and refreshing Le Bleu. Ultra pure water. Okay, next up is Family Gourmet Spring Water. From the store Family Dollar. This is from New Ringgold, PA. Yeah. So, let's open them up and do a taste test. Clover Valley has the small lid. This is a, this is a Niagara bottle of water. All Niagara bottles of water seem to taste pretty much the same. I'm kind of surprised that made it to this round. But something must have been worse than it. Pure AU. Uh, let's see, what does it taste like? It was like a small, small like hint of like fruit. It's weird. <clears throat> I don't. I think I remembered. I think I tasted fruit last time I did that bottle too. Got the metal lid, for Serma. Yeah, it tastes like um, tastes like an ice cube. This is from the store Big Lots. It says it's a dollar seventy-five for this bottle. Yeah, it tastes like glass. In my first review of this bottle, I said it tasted like an ice cube. And I guess it kind of does a little bit. Yeah, I got that ice cube taste a little bit. And Le Bleu. This is supposed to be, I think it's distilled water. They have a, a pretty thick cap on this one. Good quality plastic. I think, if I remember correctly, this is like, um, these are five step filtration. And I think this is, um, medical grade distilled water. So there's no expiration date, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. No plasticky taste with that. Oh, 
Um, yeah, there's a clear difference between these two. I mean, these three actually. Like, people who say you're just doing, just reviewing water, it all tastes the same, should try these three in a row because that it's very different tastes from all three of these. I don't know. It's just, it tastes very, very pure. Like, this has literally no aftertaste at all. This has an aftertaste. This family gourmet definitely does. Yeah, this tastes like kind of like plastic, <laughs> like the aftertaste. You, you don't taste this going down, but you taste it after you swallow. You taste, like, I guess, tiny, tiny microscopic particles of plastic. Or maybe it's not the plastic. Maybe you're tasting minerals that they add. But this has, like, no aftertaste. When the water's in your mouth, and when you swallow, there's no aftertaste. You know, I, I read an article <clears throat> saying that restaurant ice cubes have a lot of bacteria in them, and that's that might be what I'm tasting here. Like, maybe I'm tasting like dirt. So I, I was saying earlier in my first review of this that it was like an ice cube. Maybe what I meant by that was it tastes like dirt. These two taste um, the same. This Niagara, Clover Valley, and Family Gourmet. This Family Gourmet might be from Niagara. I'm not even sure. Okay, so I'm going to eliminate these two first. Let me just finish them up. Clover Valley is out. Next, I'm going to eliminate Surma. Um, I mean, I love the bottle. It's Out of these three, this is definitely the coolest bottle. But, it, I mean, it just tastes kind of like dirt, like I was saying. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a strong taste of dirt. Uh, just you know, a little bit. Okay, so pure AU and the blue. Normally, I don't like the distilled waters. Um, this one tastes really good. And this one has like a fruit flavor to it. Pure AU. Let's take a look at this. Pure AU. They say they use 
reverse osmosis. It says the cap is a choking hazard for kids. And they say, please recycle. And they say, it's from uh, PA permit. It's from Bald Eagle Creek, PA. What else do they say? Mineral enhanced for great taste. Yeah, I'm tasting those minerals for sure. Uh, I think, so, if you like, you know, the taste of fruit juices, you would like this, for sure. But I like my water to be pure. So I'm going to eliminate this one. I'm not, this one is not bad. Pure AU, I would not say it's bad, but... It's just not as pure AU as the blue. This is a really good one. Yeah, I could drink a lot of this, this one. It's actually, it's like a lot of water. I'm running low on bottles to review. Um, like all the stores I regularly go to, I've gotten every brand from them. I've gotten all the cheap bottles from from Amazon. There's some expensive ones on Amazon I can review, but some some of the ones on Amazon are like forty bucks. And um, I've tried traveling around my city. Um, so stores I, don't, I normally don't go to to get bottles. Like, this is from IGA. I normally don't go to IGA. But I got that from IGA. This is from Big Lots. I normally don't go to Big Lots, but pretty much just did just to get the, the different bottle. It's from Brandon Water. I was thinking of traveling to a different city, like New York or Philadelphia. Just I'm just spending the day going around store to store and um, finding brands to review so I think I need about 40 more to finish up round two in the series this is, this is already over 10 minutes um yeah. Um Well, congratulations, the blue. You're moving on to the next round.